Hello. I don't know if I'm live yet. I'm waiting for it to come up. I don't know if I'm live yet. Still waiting. It says it's black. Try my my page. Oh, I see me. I see me. Do I hear me? Do I think I hear me? Yep, I hear me. Awesome. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Cassandra, aka The Prosperous Heart, and I've got a question for you. Do you attend events, whether it's for personal development, whether it's for your business, whether it's maybe a retreat for, for ladies? Do you go to major events to meet new people and make new experiences and memories? Well, I don't know about you, but I love to do that. A lot. I do, I do a lot for my business with online marketing and social media. I, I do a lot for personal development. I go to Dr. Joe events, um, and, and actually this weekend I'm going to one that's partly for my business, but actually more for um, my own skill set. So I don't know if you've heard of <laughs> so excited I'm, I'm talking over my words. But um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the skill set of Forex. I've been talking about it a lot lately. If you haven't heard about it, I have a five-day boot camp that you can check out. They're really short videos that go over the basics about what Forex is and how you can get involved. But this video is not about Forex. This video is about events. And I'm so excited because I'm, I'm meeting up with about 30 of of my team members um, in at that event that's supposed to be like thousands of people out in Fort Lauderdale, yes, um, in Florida. Uh, we'll see how the weather works. But I'm so excited because 30, 30, 30 of my team, I think that's like the biggest team I've ever gone to an event with, um, are going to be there. Brandon, Stacy, Nikki, Derek. I mean, so many people are going to be there. I'm so excited. And all of them, out of all of those 30 that are going, I've actually met one of them once. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be like a, a, a reunion, but we've never even really met yet. So I'm so excited. And because of that, I wanted to share some some tips and things, not only for my team, but for anybody else who might be going to an event coming up. Um, maybe you're new to events. Maybe you are a veteran. But I would love to know what some of your ideas are on how to make the most out of your event going time. So if I miss one that you, you like, please leave one down below. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Oh, my gosh, I have a lot of people. Hey, Darren, Nikki, Brandon, Jeff, Robe. Thank you so much for joining. Marin. So, oh, thank you, Robin. I can't wait to meet you, too. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, all right, so the nine things, let me get this uh, notepad up. The nine things that you must bring to an event to get the most out of it. So first thing is you need to have a refillable water bottle. Yes, they will have water normally at the events, but they usually have like these little itty bitty cups that just, you know, they, you, they, they don't last through every session. So bring a refillable, refillable water bottle. And if you are flying, obviously you want to leave it empty. So that's number one. Number two, you want to bring a notebook and pens. Usually the events have some paper for you and pens for your use, but depending on what type of event you're going for, you probably will run out very quickly. And um, unless it's a, a really nice event, like some of the online marketing events that I've been to, um, they will usually either be something that the event paid for to have like a nice little spiral for you, or it'll be the hotels. So again, it just depends on what event you go to. So you want to be sure that you have your own notebook and your own pens. In regards to notebooks, a friend of mine taught this to me, and she learned it from a very, very successful person in the network marketing industry. Um, and basically what it is is before you start taking notes, take the page and fold it in half hot dog style. So like this way, or I guess it would be this way, whatever way the book is for you. Fold it in, ha in hot dog style and then draw a line down the middle. What this does is it is it... <laughs> I don't know how, but it really does seem to work. It makes you write faster so that you can get more down because I don't know about you, but I, when I go to events and I have major breakthroughs, it's just hard for me to keep up, for me to write, which is why I prefer to type, but it's very difficult to have a laptop when you're in an event you know, for several, several hours a day. So you want to make sure that you want to get the most out of that by utilizing the, the amount of space on your page and by taking you know little mind hack tricks, okay? Um, I also personally prefer to use one of those multicolored pens. Um, I, I like to have multicolored pen, one, because I write different notes in different colors, but also science has shown that when you write in different colors, your brain actually learns better. So instead of having one color of black or one color of blue, if you have multiple colors, especially if they tie to something, right, like maybe something important is red and maybe, you know, something that will make you money is green. I don't know. But as, if it's alternating color, colors, your mind 
grasps, grasps <laughs> the um, information a little bit better and you remember it easier. Um, hey, Beth, thanks for joining. Oh, I'm looking forward to meeting you too, girl. Um, so power bank, the third one is a power bank. You want to make sure you have an extra one if at all possible because you can't always find an available plug. So if you have a power bank, not only might you be a hero for somebody else, you're going to save yourself some battery life because you're usually going to be taking pictures and video and all kinds of really good stuff to share your experience and, um, you know, just keep that um, for Facebook to show up and say, hey, you were here a year ago. <laughs> so refillable water bottle, notebook and pens, power bank. That brings me to my fourth one, which is like, if you want to be an ultra event goer, you need to bring what's called a power strip. That means it's a little thing you plug in that has like multiple spots for people to plug in. So you could be a hero at the event if you have one of those extra um, power strips. So that way, if there's, you know, only two plugs, it now turns into four or five or eight or however many you have. Um, that can be co uh, cumbersome if you are flying, so keep that in mind as well, um, but just an idea, right? Hey, Gina, thank you so much for joining. All right, so that was number four, one, two, three, four. Number five, this one's optional, but I wanted to throw it in. Um, if you really like it really, really, really dark and you are rooming with someone or multiple someones in order to save money, um, some people prefer to have a light on, some people prefer to, for you to be complete black. In order to avoid any issues and to ensure that whatever sleep you do get is efficient um, and effective, bring a sleep mask. It doesn't take up a lot of room and by the time you're asleep and it falls off your head, you'll already be asleep. So, <laughs> so that's an optional one. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for joining. So the next one is you want to make sure that you bring space on your phone or your card. So that way you can take pictures and video because nothing just stinks more than this perfect opportunity for a picture with this amazing person you've always wanted to get a picture with and you have no space on your phone. And then it's an awkward moment of you trying to delete things and it just, just, you don't want to do that. So make sure that there's space on your phone before you go and um, do you want any problems? The next one is you want to have high energy and high energy is important for a lot of reasons, but the biggest one is your physiology. If you were at an event, let's say, and I'm going to um, do some, some stuff here. So if you're sitting here watching this, um, you can do this along with me, but if you were to you know, lean forward and really pay attention to whatever's going on and just really focus on it. And, you know, you're running furiously and this, that, and the other, and, you know, you're just really, really in, in the zone versus when you're laying back and you're just taking notes and whatever. Yeah. So your energy is really important as well. So you want to make sure that you're, you're highly in tune with that, even when you're tired, because if you've ever been to a Tony Robbins event or listen to him, that guy is always on. And the reason why is because he understands that we have the ability to change our state, which will also change the level of energy that we have. So you want to make sure that at your events, you have high energy. The next thing is you want to make sure that you have an open mind. Usually at these events, whether they are personal, whether they are professional, you're usually going to learn something. And so if you come at the event with an open mind of, I'm thankful and grateful and looking forward to this new information that I'm going to receive and benefit in my life with. You know, if you come with that with an open heart, so many more things will be more available to you than if you come to the event closed off. So be sure to keep that open mind and open heart. And then last but not least, bring a smile. Bring a smile. It seems like such a simple little thing, right? But one, if you look around, most people are not smiling. There's always something to smile about. If you're still, if you're still here, if you're watching this right now, you're alive. You are above ground. You have so much more opportunity around you to do whatever it is that's on your heart and follow your dreams, right? Um, you, if you have a job, you've got a job. And if you don't have a job, you're able to look for one or whatever. There is something that you can find in your current situation, even if it's a crummy one, there's something in your current situation that you can focus on and be happy about and smile. And not only that, but if you're in business, people are attracted to people who smile and show teeth, not just this tight lip smile. Mm -mm. No, no, big smile right? Because again, it's physiology. When one of the reasons, one of the 
bad things about technology is that we we tend to lose um, intonation and body language and things like that. And so when you're at an event, you can't escape that. You can't put up this wall where someone can't see you and you can just type whatever you want because that's your right to be able to type whatever it is that you feel. And then boom, you know, you've said your piece. You can't really do that in real life. Like, with person to person, because now you have the opportunity to grow and to not only hear their meaning behind their words, but talk to them if you think you misunderstand it. So bring a smile. Not only does it do all of that and attract people to you, but it also elevates your emotion. It brings out chemicals inside your brain that help to make you feel better. So these were the nine items that you should be bringing to events. If there was something that I missed, please leave one down below. Would love to hear what my other event goers um, have been able to utilize in their uh, time as event participants. Hey, Kadeem. Thank Kadeem. Kadeem. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. So um, thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. Um, I hope you guys got on the call tonight with Jen Johnson, who was talking about some attraction marketing uh, information on how to attract your uh, power tribe to you. If you did not get on that call, please let me know. Either comment down below or send me a message, and I'll be sure to either try and get you the replay. It's not always possible. Um, my team will always get it, but sometimes it's not always available to the public. So if it is and you want it, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.